Coulomb's law. In order to explain the Coulomb's law, what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider two charged particles Q1 and Q2. So let these are the two charged particles Q1 and Q2, and they are r distance apart. So basically, we are separating these two charged particles by distance r. Then, according to the Coulomb's law, the force of attraction or repulsion between two bodies is the first point is directly proportional to the product of the charges of the body. So we will write force F is directly proportional to q1 times q2 because q1 and q2 is the magnitude of the charge on the charge particle 1 and 2 so force is directly proportional to q1 times q2 and let this is our equation number one our second point is force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so basically the distance between q1 and q2 is r so we will write f is directly proportional to 1 over r square and let this is our equation number two now what i'm going to do i'm going to combine equation one and two so we will write combining equation 1 and 2 we have we will write f is directly proportional to q1 times q2 over r square because we are combining equation 1 and 2 if we simplify further we will write f is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 over r square so basically my force is f is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 over r square where 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 is a constant and the value of constant is 9 times 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so as we can see 4 is a constant pi is a constant and epsilon 0 is also a constant and we call the epsilon 0 as permittivity constant and its value is epsilon 0 is equal to 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12 coulomb square per newton meter square and this is how we will define the coulomb's law